Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and today I wanted to show you my single chip RFID controller. And I finished this over a year ago, but I finally had the chance to work on a prototype. But this is the breadboard design that I created, um, designed, and programmed. It uses the 125 kilohertz ID tags. This chip here, this is a PIC 16F876-20. It's an 8-bit CMOS flash microcontroller. It's a 28-pin DIP. This is uh, some parts that I had way back when, and this is what I'm using to create or design a RFID controller. Now, what can it control? Basically, I have my circuit connected to a relay board here, and you can activate this relay. It's a 5 volt, 125 volt AC 10 amp relay, and so you can control lighting, fans, any electronic circuit. And if you get the uh, proper um, components, you can probably control a refrigerator or anything in, in your car. So anything you can think of, you can switch on and off with a relay. You can also control devices or circuits with a, an N-channel MOSFET. This is an old one that I have. It's an IRF 510 power MOSFET. And so you can utilize an, a MOSFET um, transistor or a relay. And let me give you a demonstration on how this RFID single chip controller works. You see a breadboard here, and you see a lot of components on there, but the main component is the microcontroller. You also see some 7805 regulators here, just to uh, so I can get the proper voltage for the circuit. I also have a 9 volt battery here. I was experimenting with uh, backup power and which it works fine. And you see the 20 megahertz crystal right here. This is the RFID reader. It's made by Grand Idea Studio, sold uh, through Parallax. And this is the 125 kilohertz uh, reader. And basically this is a serial reader. You connect the serial reader directly to the chip itself and provide power. You just need a few components. You need the oscillator circuit. I'm using a crystal oscillator with two caps and basically that's it. And also with a uh, um, 0.1 microfarad uh, a noise cap and that's the basic circuit. Just a few components. So basically, let me power this unit on. and you see the light here that indicates that the relay circuit is on. This LED here indicates that the RFID reader enable is on and ready for scanning. This is the same LED that's on the reader itself and if you actually use this in an application this particular reader may be um, contained in a box so you won't be able to see this LED here. You can use an LED, external LED connected to the microcontroller as indicated here for the RFID enable. And the other LED that you are probably concerned about is this one here which is not on. This is a dual color LED and that is used for programming. And so the feature of this single chip RFID controller is you can program up to eight RFID tags in memory. So as long as there's power, it will remember eight RFID tags. And if you want, you can use a backup system uh, using a 9 volt battery. Or you, if you have a UPS system, that will work just as fine. And so, programmed into the microcontroller 
are the IDs for two credit card size RFID chips here, or tags. Now, I programmed these two tags as the master keys. So, these are the master keys, and these two tags allow you to program this controller with eight, up to eight, RFID tags. So I'll just use one of them. And if I run it over the RFID reader, it will turn on this LED here, which is the master programming LED. When it is green, that tells you that it is ready to program. Let me put this down here, the master key down. And I have a bunch of these 125 kilohertz keychain RFID tags. Now I'm going to program eight of these into the controller. And you'll see this green LED, which is the master control light. It will blink green when an RFID tag is added to the system. So I just programmed one into the system. You saw it blink. Program another one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now the limit is eight for this controller, my RFID controller. Let's say if I try to program another one, a unique one. Now notice is you'll see a, um, a wobbling light. It uh, flashes green and red. That tells you that the um, memory is full and you cannot program any more. So the one that I just tried did not program into the uh, uh, controller. So the eight that I programmed into the system here is memorized. Another feature is, as long as this master programming light is on, the green one here, I can take one that I already programmed and I can remove it by just moving it over the reader and you'll see it you'll see this light blink red. If it blinks red, that means it deleted this particular tag from memory. If it knows it's this is one that's already in memory, it will delete it if you swipe it over it while this master programming light is on. So let me go ahead and swipe it over it. It blinked red, that means it deleted this from the system. Let me swipe it over again. It blinked green, that means it reprogrammed it into the system. So you can add and delete tags from this system. So right now I have eight programmed into this RFID controller system. Let me use one of the master um, cards here. I'll swipe it over it to turn off the master programming mode. Okay, so you see the green light turn off. Now, this particular system that I uh, programmed or designed, it has five different outputs to control your relays or your uh, MOSFETs or your output, a digital output. It has a two second momentary high to low output. It has a five second momentary high to low output. It has a five second momentary low to high output. And it has a toggle output from high to low and a toggle output low to high. So now that we have eight RFID tags programmed into the system, let's try one of those tags. Now that the, you don't see a green light on, so it's not in programming mode, 
Notice the relay here, relay board. I have it connected to this relay board, this RFID system. So if I run this tag over the reader, you can hear the relay actuate. And it's on the two second momentary output. So if you want, you can use this for um, a door entry solenoid or relay, magnet bar for a door, or to activate a garage door opener. And so let's say you try using an RFID tag that has not been programmed into it. Okay, you see the reader did recognize this tag, but it did not give any output on the controller. So it did not recognize the uh, ID, so it did not actuate anything. But you'll notice that on the reader itself, it recognized it, but the RFID controller did not recognize it and therefore this tag does not work. So I also have, uh, during my development of this uh, controller system, I used a little LCD readout during the development and let me show that to you and this actually uh, gives you some uh, good information. Okay, I have the or LCD readout. It is backlit and it does give you the tag information. So during development of the system, I actually use this to, to read the tag IDs from the tags. So let me zoom in here. So when I connected this LCD screen, I reset the power. So there are no tags programmed into the system. And so if I swipe one of these tags over the reader, it'll tell you tag failed. So it did not recognize this this tag as in as being in memory. But it will tell you the tag ID and that's very important uh, when you're doing development for RFID is to have a tag reader. And let me try a different tag. It'll it'll give me a different ID number. So all the tags you have should have a unique number for the tag. And you'll notice I have uh, maybe a button here that was just experimenting with uh, other features. Just wanted to show you this and I'm actually working on a prototype for this circuit. Very simple circuit. And I might actually sell some of these um, so it will help fund my YouTube channel and help me produce more videos. I'll give you more information on my next video on where you can possibly, or actually a future video, on where you can possibly purchase uh, this circuit here. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.